Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you for being here this early in the morning. Your Tuesday is definitely all about health today. Now, we always speak about the joys of parenthood, but don't often mention moments where we feel helpless as parents, right? And as eczema, uh, eczema we know can cause feelings of helplessness. And today, unpacking all of this, we've got pediatrician and allergist, Dr. Tulja Trikomji, and she's here to offer a helping hand in managing eczema in babies and also young children, courtesy of Laura. Pose. Thank you so much for being here, Doc. It's so Thank good to have you. Thank you for having you. You me. Stunning, it's it's lovely. Way. Thank you. Thank you very much. I decided to do the La Roche colors. Love I, it. I see Love it. it. I see it. <laughs> Beautiful and blue. Yes. Right. So eczema. Um, we're going to unpack a little yes. bit understanding it. Is it more prevalent nowadays? Hmm. Do we see more of it? Are they more? What, what are the factors nowadays contributing to it? So I think firstly, it it's important to understand eczema is an umbrella term okay. for a lot of conditions. Now, when yeah. we speak eczema, one of the commonest causes is what we refer to as atopic dermatitis. Literally translated, atopic dermatitis means allergic inflammation of the skin. Mm. Um, you know, we've actually chatted on this show about allergies and how allergies have become an epidemic. Yeah. So when you look at allergies in general and the increase we're seeing worldwide, mm. developing countries as well as developed countries, we're finding that eczema is one one of those conditions that is seeing a rise. So 100% yes. Well, let's talk about eczema versus dry skin because I think that people often get that confused, but I don't believe it's the same thing, right? Um, yes and no. Okay. Um, and I tell you why. Eczema is not simply dry skin. And from my perspective as an allergy specialist, why I say this is because eczema is a condition that affects your immune system. And I like to look at the skin as actually an organ. Mm. I tell my patients, your skin is not just a covering on your body. So when you're treating your eczema, it's not sufficient to use a cream at the top and not understand what's going on in the underlying pathology yeah. right. of the eczema itself. So from that perspective, it's not just dry skin. But, you know, with a lot of research, we now know that eczema is the start of what we refer to as an allergic march mm. or atopic march, meaning that very often I see patients who might have just a mildly dry skin in infancy, uh, when they're toddlers as well, and mums might not think this is eczema because you don't see that dry patch that mm. your neighbors might have or the other kid at Krish has mm. or the images you've seen on the internet. Right. Thank Google for that. Mm. Yeah, which um, is always pretty, tenfold worse. A hundred percent. But when you sometimes can manifest with slightly dry skin or we even see changes in pigment, mm. um, eczema can have so many faces. It's so important mm. to understand that it's not simply just this dry scaly rash. You can present with such a host or such a myriad of different types of things which can start off with dry skin especially yeah. in that infant period yes which is why the barrier mm. and moisture is so very important let's talk about the management because i mean especially in, in young kids and babies i mean i've got two boys and you know growing up especially in the infant stages they were always here and their skin issues started off with a little bumpy skin mm -hmm. or whatever and they transitioned into something mm -hmm. worse i mean it's it's hard for a parent because you watch your kid and they're scratching and they're uncomfortable mm -hmm. what are the management kind of signs look like what what should parents know in terms of managing eczema where should we go first what should we even be thinking mm. such an important question even you know i refer to those as quality of life effects of eczema mm. because what we see on the surface is just a rash on the skin right. but often the everyday life mm. particularly with children because when you're at school you are teased, you are ridiculed, children are often ostracized. Uh, you know, during COVID, we had lots of patients who were told you have a disease on your skin or you're Ooh. contagious. And because eczema is something that's so visible, it's something that can affect you on a social perspective. Mm. And then with when we look at allergic inflammation, one of the characteristics of allergic inflammation generally is an itch. So you're constantly itching, constantly scratching, something which we refer to as an itch scratch cycle. This can keep people up at night. Mm. So you find your sleep is affected. Mm. If your sleep is affected, your mood is affected. Mm. When your mood is affected, you, I mean, I've had patients who've been already put on antidepressants mm 
prior to seeing me and once the sure. eczema got better were able to wean off their antidepressants oh, so it cannot conclusively be told but that played a huge factor yeah. um, in the you know their, their mental health yeah. and so eczema has such a broad impact on That's so many amazing. aspects and you know I, as an allergist, treat the skin, mm. I treat the eyes, the nose, the chest and the immune system. And I laugh with my patients because often I find that they have wheezy chests, mm. they have blocked noses, yeah. they have poor lung functions, but none of that affects them mm. as much as a rash on the skin affects them. Oh my it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Just very quickly, if you can chat to us, because you mentioned La, uh, La Roche, the, the, La, the La Roche Pose Lipicar range. Mm. Just the active ingredients in terms of managing, because yes, topical, we need to go there as yes. well. You mentioned that it's also from the inside, need to look at it. But if we take a look at the, the specific mm. product, a hundred percent. So, you know, the science of the microbiome and the science of the immune system and how that impacts eczema is evolving mm. and it's quite cutting edge now. So you want to apply something on your skin that's got, yes, the moisture, which yeah. is obvious because we're dealing with dry and dehydrated skin, but you want something that's got science that helps the immune system as well. Absolutely. And the Lipica range has got microbiome science, meaning that there are elements in the range that actually help the bacteria, the good bacteria on your skin. This is what we refer to the microbiome so that you can rebalance it and that then assists the immune aspect of your skin. And there's also other things such as niacinamide, which is a vitamin, which really does help with the irritation on the skin. Mm. And of course, the barrier, the replenishment, replenishment of the barrier, mm. extremely, extremely important that you use stuff that's fragrance free, chemical free right. from Mm. infancy day zero of life all the way up to adult range and I think that's the beauty of the range. Oh I love that and I love that you can use products for both yeah. so me and my baby can both you know <laughs> get it on. Thank you so much for that doc so insightful and honestly I think that you've definitely put many parents at ease right now. Expert advice and guidance uh, for parents is sometimes the best form of help and after all giving them the tools to help their children makes them the superhero in everyday life. Yes.